The dust has settled. It's been a wee while since the game was over, but it doesn't change the fact Rangers were pish well, and are pish and are fucked and probably aren't going to win 56. Or is that overreacting, fat man? Nah, nah, the dust has settled. My Sky Bet balance still says £0, even though I bet £150 pound on that game. So, I mean, it is what it is. Rangers are shite. I hope they get relegated. Unfortunately, they're not that shite. They'll survive. They'll stay up. They'll, they'll probably battle Celtic for maybe... Fifth place. Aye, uh, something like that, you know what I mean? But uh, embarrassing here from Rangers tonight. Uh, you know, that Stephen Davis goal, it was it was fewed upon as like a lifeline in the last leg. And I think everyone pretty much felt that. I felt like at 2-0... The tie was, you know, like, balanced. But I felt when Davis got that goal, you know what, well, that's when just going to go through. I mean, they're only one yep. behind. They take it tie box. They'll get the job done. They'll they'll beat Malmo convincingly. Morelos up front. Didn't happen. Morelos started. First game uh, back in, apart from the start there. I'll the tell you what, right? I know Morelos missed a few chances tonight, but he looked like the only guy that was up for it. He, 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 I know, but his play, his fucking play is phenomenal, right? He, he'll be, he might not be the best finisher, but... You know what I mean? He contributes a lot to the game. People were slabbering about him against Dundee United. It's his first fucking game. He hadn't even fucking trained. He was training in a car park. And inside, so, I mean, the difference between Morelos and the rest of the strikers, I'm sorry, I think it's fucking, it's more than night and day, right? That's no disrespect. But it is. I mean, Ruth might be a better finisher, but it's, it's overall plays. Fucking nothing compared to, to uh, Morelos. Uh, I'm speaking of Morelos. He scores the goal. Reigns go 1-0 up. First half an hour it was pretty comfortable. Um, you know, what they go one up and you're thinking, well, that's it, really over. It's just a matter of time for Rangers to get another one and, and go in front on aggregate. Uh, Innocent gets booked for a, a nasty, well, it's not a nasty challenge, but I mean, it's it's one of the most clear bookings you'll ever see. Uh, Morelos is trying to break through into the uh, the Malmo half and Innocent is, is hugging him, like refusing to let him go, trying to grab him into a bear hug. He gets a yellow card for that, but then about 10 minutes later, all of a sudden Malmo are coming into the game. So about 10 minutes to go for half time, Malmo are, are looking dangerous and it's kind of worrying, you know, because you're thinking, right, what's happening here? Why get to half time? Get to half time with the 1 0 lead. All of a sudden, uh, Innocent and Connor Goldson go for the same ball. Um, I think Connor Goldson wins it, but uh, he slightly follows through on. Innocent, but there's nothing in it. Like there's nothing in it, and Innocent's the one that gets the yellow card. So, I mean, they they, they can say Innocent until proven guilty, but I mean, they didn't get that treatment the night. The referee just came out, gave him the second yellow, sent him off. Um, Tomlinson was the Malmo manager was fucking raging, rightfully so. He's complaining about it. Innocent walks off the pitch. Rangers then they go into half time. They've got the one 0 advantage. Got the man advantage, and you're thinking they this break. Not only with this break, will stop the Malmo momentum plus. The red card should kill the game. Absolutely, the opposite happened. <laughs> uh, Malmo came out even better in the second half, uh, and they, they took two early goals thanks to Kolak, the Croatian, who let's be real, has not even got a single cap. So how good can he be? You know what I mean? Really, it's not like this was Mandzukic or somebody, or you know what I mean, Kalasnic or, or someone that's playing for Croatia. It was just a guy who has got a wee Croatian flag beside his name. Absolutely scores two goals. Rangers looked shell shock. It was all Malmo in the first 15 minutes. I thought McGregor's positioning was poor for the second goal. Uh, you got anything to add or is this just a, a sort of Scotland review uh, well, I was fucking letting the big man get his thoughts in before I went fucking jihad. Right, well, here's the thoughts, right? Last half an hour, Rangers created a couple of chances, right? But considering they needed two goals to keep their champions hopes alive and did a man advantage, I don't think what Rangers displayed in the last half an hour was good enough. A couple of chances. Uh, Morelos headed it just wide. Goldson headed one straight at the keeper. Fashion Sakala had a shot saved, but in reality... It took him uh, eight deflections on his way to goal. You know, <laughs> and then Kent, towards the end, had a shot that, you know, Reyes just went above the bar. To me, Rangers did not create enough, did not play well enough. And I expected more for Gerrard. He made two subs, but he had a third sub to make, and he didn't make it. He needed two goals. He got Itton on the bench, he got Defoe on the bench. I mean, why did he not... I get that, right? Why do you not make I, something I, sooner? I, I think questions can be asked of the subs, right? But see who's on that pitch. That is fucking more than good enough to create more. Yeah, chances. but when you need two, when you need two goals, and you're you're putting Connor Goldson and Balogun up front instead of taking one of them off and bringing on Defoe in. I get that. 
Either maybe but they brought are pretty good at heading those two, you know. And I feel like Defoe against that Malmo defense. I know. The, yeah, he's well, not very physical. Well, when Connor Golden got the ball inside the box with his feet, he wasn't that good, was he? No, he One wasn't. of the worst attempts at a cross I've ever seen. Point is, right? You can't you can't go into a second half one nil up against ten men and lose two nil. I don't even know why he took Holland out. It's like it's like a fucking Neil Lennon special, that. I mean, this is literally 2020, or just the start of this year. Right, well... And you'd be expecting Scottish football calls, and you'd be tuning in all night, li- li- listening to people bury Lennon. How the fuck did they fuck that up? That's what, that's what it reminds me of. It's like, is the NFL, you know, when you select the playbook uh, for the next play? Yeah, the tits clean up. So yeah, here you go. <laughs> fucking kill yourself. <laughs> it's like... It's like Gerard's just fucking selected the, uh, the, the Lennon playbook, and... There's no red flag to stop it. I mean, you can't challenge it. There's nothing you can do. It's... Aye, fair enough. Um, but... Speaking of the NFL, if you want to see NFL match reviews on this channel, let us know in the comments. But I, all I'm going to say is, look, I had money in Rangers tonight. They got beat. I fucking hate them. They've lost two games now to Marble. They've fucked up the coefficient. They are Scotland's shame, at least for the foreseeable future. And that's my opinion, right? Losing 4-2 to Tiger get a Marble when you had uh, an extra man for 45 minutes is unacceptable. Yeah. Right, uh, yeah, you can stay the rest because I'm done. If well, you, I said that, I mean... But before you go on, if you want to hear my real passionate rant, check out Son Scotland TV, where I uh, did not take it easy on them. But anyway... Yes. I mean, I just... No, I lose... Nah, getting beat 2-0 against 10 men, I think against... I mean, I was kind of pissed off the fact that St. Johnson drew one each with Galatasaray with 10 men, taking the lead. Right? Well, I say pissed off. I wasn't fucking completely emotionally invested in it, right? But the point is... You thought it was a poor result or whatever? Yeah. Poor to lose. That's St. Johnson and Galatasaray. <laughs> I'd say the levels here are similar. I mean, I think, well, I think obviously, I, I mean, the, the, the gap's close, so I'm not going to fucking deny it. But you get my point. I mean, I don't know. And it is, that's, that's the first leg as well. St. Johnson get a Norway in Turkey. Here, we're Ibrox. We're all oh. fucking Ibrox. And the arse just collapses. Defending was atrocious for both goals. I mean, you get 10 people and one guy at a throw in. You've got McGregor, questionable positioning. I mean, I would, I don't know. McGregor has been pretty pissed so far this season, and I'd probably get McLaughlin in for the European games. But that's just my opinion. Ah, uh, well, dust is settled, guys, and uh, it's Europa League. For life, down and then what's the Europa League? I can't remember. Don't know, but I've just had a comment on my YouTube channel, Mr. Basman. 150 quid, you're going to be fucked for your heroin hit, mate. Rough month ahead, Godspeed. Listen, you junkie bastard, right? 150 quid, hee haw. I'll win it back, right? When I bet one of the better Scottish teams on Thursday night, right? Aberdeen, Hibs, or Selic. I mean, no, Aberdeen, Hibs, or St. Johnson. I'll be betting them again. On that note, good night.